Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to G&G TV. My name is Josh, and today we're talking about the RK74 ETU series. Often seen as the bad guy's guns, AKs and Airsoft generally tend to be a less popular model, and unless you're willing to spend a lot of extra money, you're generally stuck with plain wood or plain polymer furniture, no way to mount accessories or optics. G&G has reinvented the tactical AK with an M4 style buffer tube in stock, a bunch of ambidextrous controls, optic rails, and most importantly, a key mod rail on the front. Now to start going back in more detail, starting from the rear of the rifle, g g has added a M4 style buffer tube with their brand new GOS V2 stock which is both retractable as well as has a friction lock and a hidden compartment for CR123 batteries for optics and flashlights. A slight difference with the RK74 Tactical, the longer model, is that it features a folding stock. To fold it, you press in here and it flips over and locks in place on the other side of the receiver. One small additional feature that's a big deal to a lot of AK users will be the sling plate adapter added, which means that people that are familiar with M4 variants can use their slings, whether they be bungee or two-point slings, on the rear of the rifle. Now to solve two problems that AK users often have, g g added an optics rail straight on top of the dust cover to avoid the use of a side-mounted optics rail. They also hinge the dust cover, which means that you won't lose it during gameplay. The selector switch to the RK74 series has also been updated, allowing the user to go from safe auto and semi with the flick of a finger. And again, small features make the big difference to the RK74 series as the charging handle sits snugly in the selector switch to let you adjust your hop up. And coming down to the trigger guard, it's been bowed out for easy use with gloves and the magazine release has been extended to both sides to make it easy to use and ambidextrous. The front end of the RK74 series is what make these rifles truly unique in the airsoft world of AKs. The key mod rail in the front of these AKs offers key mod slots in both the 3 and the 9 o'clock positions, while a single 1913 Picatinny style rail sits on the top. Now the only difference between the rails on the three different lengths is that the longer tactical and the mid-length elite are going to have full key mod with a small Picatinny on the bottom of the rail, while the shorter CQB length is going to have only Picatinny. But by far the most unique feature of the RK74 series is that in the longer tactical and mid-length elite version, both the battery and the MOSFET are going to be stored in the rail. Now that we've taken a look at the external features of the RK74 series, we're going to take a look at how the 6.04mm precision inner barrel and the ETU make this gun perform on the 5x5 target rack. So as you can see, Instead of guessing where the target is and trying to pull the trigger before I'm there, with the ETU's trigger response, I can wait until I'm on site, on target, pull the trigger, and hit every time. The RK74's magazine is polymer, and to make sure every round feeds, g has added a follower that goes all the way through the magazine and then into the hop-up chamber. Now the last most important feature of the RK74 series has got g gs brand new ETU or electronic trigger unit system inside, which allows the gun to go from auto to burst right out of the box. Similar to the M4 platform, to switch the rifle into burst mode, you hold down the trigger for 10 seconds in semi, and then when switched to auto, the rifle's in burst. g g has reinvented the tactical AK in three lengths, the long tactical, the mid-length elite, and the short CQB. So for a modern tactical AK, look to your local g g authorized reseller later this year.